Hi Alex, how are you? Okay, here we have some new video from you playing the acoustic strumming lessons. I've been checking this and wow, <laughs> you're doing a great job. And then we have the, the three chords separated, but... Okay, A minor. That's perfect. I think that you are ready to, to play the whole lesson now. We could try playing the whole lesson and see what happens and see if there are other combinations that need war, but at least with this part, this one's perfect, this one's perfect, very, very good, very good. Uh, let's go to the acoustic strumming number two to see what happens. Two plus. Two chords, both separately, and two together. Okay. Original tempo. Okay. Now, now we are. We are changing the chords at the right. So uh, I noticed that you're very focused on changing the chord in, in the right time. Now, now you you had to get more comfortable, more familiar with that because you, you still sound like too, too focused, okay? So too, too concentrated and, and you don't sound natural when you are changing. Exactly and in the moment uh, where I marked the, the problem. Okay, there, you, you need to adjust that part. Dun, 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 dun. The other two chords. Okay, I, I think that the problem is that you need to change the chord faster. Faster. When you are. Mostly with your left hand. Your, your right hand is going very well. It's going tight with the tempo. You're... That's right. But maybe this one is a bit delayed, and that's when we are missing the the sound of the of the chord, the the first strum of it. When you have. Okay. Okay. That one, okay? Okay. Okay. This is happening. It is more evident in the in the second uh, pair, of course, but it was also happening here. Ok, 
Okay, but this is a very small detail. Uh, you you improved that a lot. Uh, here we go. In this part, you, in, in many cases, uh, you are uh, changing the the core later. Okay, you 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 are uh, getting back to the to the same problem that I marked in the in the previous take. Mostly when when playing the D chord, you're playing it a bit after. Let's see what happens with the four chords. You play a B minor there. Okay, that sounds good. very very good I, I, I think that uh, you should this week these days you should uh, play the whole lesson for the acoustic strumming number one and regarding the acoustic strumming number two you need to work a bit more on that change and now add more chords. I, I think that you are ready to 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 uh, move forward with, with the acoustic lesson two. May we let me check it out to give you the the right as assignment. Let's see what you can play for the acoustic strumming number two. By now you have that. Notice how how he changes to the D. Okay, it's very clear the first uh, strum. Okay. Same course, but you you had the change from. So these are the the chords that you could add. You 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 can add the the C major seven and then the C major seven and the A minor. So let's add these uh, two pairs of chords. You work on these two. And then on these two ones, okay. And then you record as you did in this video. That is really helpful for me to to check your playing. You play the four chords together. So 
you rework a bit more the first two co the first four chords and you now do the same that you did with these ones with the the new ones okay that would be the task for the acoustic strumming number two and the acoustic strumming number one now please play the whole lesson and let's see what happens okay i hope that you have a great week of practice and uh, if you have any question or anything that you need please let me know bye bye